are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 21st of December. I'm James Spann. The weather looking pretty good around here for the first half of the week, but a cold front brings rain by Wednesday night and Thursday morning, then a shot of very cold air for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Will it snow? That's the big question, so let's see if we can find an answer. Here we go. Very wavy look across the country. Very active flow pattern. Uh, one wave coming through this morning. That'll pull down drier air today. And we'll, again, we'll be in pretty good shape here through Wednesday. Temperatures are in the 40s early this morning. Birmingham at 48. We'll warm up nicely today. The sky becoming sunny. We'll be close to 60 this afternoon. There's the watch warning map. We've got some dense fog issues for parts of the Deep South, including much of Mississippi. But otherwise, things are pretty quiet. Convectively speaking, quiet today. That's the severe weather outlook today. This is tomorrow. And then on day three, this is Wednesday and Wednesday night, there is a marginal risk along the Gulf Coast. And this includes in Alabama, Mobile, Baldwin, Escambia, southern Covington counties. And again, this is level one out of level five. Uh, for Wednesday night, as a cold front pushes in, there could be a few storms uh, there with gusty winds, maybe some small hail. But for most of the state, just rain with the front. Speaking of rain, this is what we expect over the next five days, valid through Monday morning of next week. Most of the state getting between one and two inches and almost all of that will be coming down Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So let's work our way through this and see if we can find a few snowflakes for the snow fans. This is the GFS, the 06 c run, valid today at 3, troughing in the east. And again, for us, we're dry, becoming sunny, highs close to 60. Same thing tomorrow, beautiful day, sunny. We start the day around 40. The high will be in the low 60s. And then Wednesday, here comes our next front. Uh, clouds will increase Wednesday, and some rain may be reaching the western counties by afternoon. Uh, the better chance will be Wednesday night. This is Wednesday night at midnight. Uh, surface low well up in Canada, front down to Memphis. And there could be a little instability for the southwestern corner of the state. This, again, this is at midnight Wednesday night, and that's the reason you got that marginal risk down there. But, again, for most of the state, just rain, no severe weather worries. And then this is Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Uh, the rain should taper off. And again, uh, there could be a little window as this cold air rushes in. That's a really cold air mass here uh, where the rain could briefly change over to snow showers or snow flurries, mainly for the Tennessee Valley. But again, anything meaningful would likely stay north of the state. And then this is Thursday afternoon at 4. It's going to be cold. Temperatures falling in the 30s, an icy north wind. It's going to be cloudy and raw. And uh, typically when you see that kind of cold air advection and a big trough coming in, there could be a few snow flurries. And we'll mention that for Thursday afternoon or Thursday night. But again, uh, the moisture, the deep moisture long gone, uh, nothing meaningful. And then this is Christmas Day. It's going to be cold. Uh, we're going to start the day between 15 and 25. Uh, the high will be uh, only around 40 or 40 in most spots. And many locations north of Birmingham stay in the 30s. We've had only 11 Christmas days. Uh, on record here with uh, highs below 40. And that goes way back uh, many, many, many years. So what are the snow probabilities? This is the uh, chance of one inch or more of snow on the ground. It's 6 a.m. Central Time Christmas morning. This is the European, uh, the mean of the ensemble members, and it says uh, for Alabama, zero chance. And I think that's right. Uh, if you really want some snow, you might want to try the uh, mountains of uh, East Tennessee and Western North Carolina, especially north and east of there. This is the GFS, and it's a little more aggressive. But again, understand those probabilities are very low uh, for North Alabama. Uh, and again, you just need to go northeast. Gatlinburg would be a fun place to be Christmas morning. I'll put it that way. So uh, the bottom line is a uh, chance of snow flurries, maybe a few snow showers Thursday as the cold air rushes in. But meaningful impact or accumulation not expected. Uh, so this is... Saturday, as the weekend begins. Again, Saturday morning's going to be cold. I, I think we'll see, again, lows between 15 and 25. Uh, but then we start to warm up. The high will be close to 50 with a sunny sky. And this is Sunday. Here comes our next front. Clouds will increase. This is Sunday night. More rain. Uh, no severe weather. No snow. 
And then a week from today, this is Monday the 28th, troughing on by, big trough in the western states, and we are dry and cool at this point. We'll go out 10 days. This is Wednesday, December 30th, Wednesday of next week, trough coming through and another rain producer. And again, it's too cool for severe weather and it's too warm for snow based on what we're seeing now. But again, this is 10 days out. This could change. We all know that. So speaking of snow, for the snow fans, this is the uh, output from the European Ensemble. And again, this thing Thursday will produce a few flurries, and that's about it. And again, some of the members do pick up on the possibility of maybe some snow the following week. But again, for now, it's just noise. There's not much consensus out there. We'll keep an eye on trends. This is the rain for Birmingham off the same model, the mean between 2 and 3 inches between now and New Year's Day. And temperatures, now that high on Thursday is probably going to be at midnight of 49, so don't get locked in on that. We're going to fall into the 30s during the day Thursday, and a good chance we'll stay in the 30s even on Christmas Day with a sunny sky. And those the lows Friday and Saturday morning has got 24, and again, this is the national blend of models. There's no doubt we're going to see teens in many spots. That's for the city. And then after that, we'll start to warm up a bit. And the CPC outlook, this is for December 28th through January 3rd, 2021, suggesting temperatures here will be close to average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.